spirituality, as far as I'm concerned, is a topic that seems to fascinate many people these days. Um, it's a word that's frequently and increasingly used, but I think its meaning is often quite unclear. So what do I think spirituality is? Uh, is it distinct from religion? Uh, does it mainly concern our inner experiences, or is it more than that? Um, I think during the last quarter century, the word spirituality has moved well beyond its origins in Christianity and indeed beyond religion as a whole. It's now assumed to be native to everyone, whether or not they have religious affiliations. Why is spirituality so popular these days? Some people say that it's a reaction against the consumerism that's dominated our lives uh, over the last 50 years. That may be so, but I'd add that I also think it reflects the fact that traditional external sources of authority, so for example politicians, the church, public leadership, are no longer as trusted as they once were. First of all, I think spirituality, wherever it finds itself, is actually about aspiration. It's an aspirational word. And it's got something to do with how human beings can reach out towards their fullest potential, however you understand that. Secondly, I think it's a source of values, and it's also a source of authority, but authority from within, as opposed to authority systems outside. It was originally a Christian word, and it meant the opposite of worldly, in the sense of someone who was preoccupied only with their own pleasure. It was something that was meant to be slightly more idealistic. I think spirituality is really the true heart of all religions, even though I'm afraid nowadays people probably wouldn't think that's the case because religions have become so institutional. It's also the heart, I think, of all the great ancient philosophies and ethical systems. I think it's not entirely individual or interior. I think it's also social in its implications, and that's shown by the fact that the word is now increasingly used in lots of professional and public worlds like healthcare, spirituality in healthcare, spirituality in business studies, uh, and I recently came across spirituality and public policy and public leadership. So, you know, you find it all over. It does involve practices, and it could involve meditation, but there's a lot of other practices it could involve. Um, it's more than just something in the mind, in other words. It's something that it demands a sort of commitment of one's body and physical life and, and general life practice. I think it involves a kind of sense of having a self-reflective life because it points towards meaning, towards a desire for greater enlightenment, and I suppose you could say a desire for some kind of perfection. Because of that, I think it also involves necessarily um, taking the risk of being changed, of transformation. Particularly, I think, becoming free from bad patterns of behavior. Uh, patterns that may be attractive, but actually in the end are self-destructive. I think it involves a sense of direction, I think it also involves some idea, some reaching out towards an ultimate purpose beyond living just in the moment. And I think finally, I think it's holistic, meaning it's not just about some aspect of my life, my mind or my body or my psyche, but it's actually about life as a whole, understanding myself increasingly as a whole.